first thing we did was we, we, this was given to us in this, and this is lesson, unit five, lesson eight, and this is making the randomizer screen. Let's go ahead and look at this real quick. So we're gonna see, we're gonna make our, our code do this. So on run, it randomizes. Each time we hit run, it's gonna go through and start with a random background and a random shape and a random location. Um, after we hit run, then we can change the shape and it makes a sound each time. I know you can't hear it because I didn't, when I shared my screen, I didn't share the sound, but it does make a sound. Um, also, if we hit location, and I want to sh also point out when we hit location, I want you to see that the sizes, they're kind of going off the screen as well. And sometimes they'll go off the screen this way. We want to be really careful that we make sure that we go off the screen in both directions. Otherwise, it's going to be really heavy on this side. So when you do locations, make sure that when you, we do the size, random size that we go into the, like, the negative 30s over here on both up and down, as well as making sure that we go to this, you know, the larger size, because I think it's kind of cool looking, like when, when you fill the whole screen plus some, right? Um, and so we can kind of make sure we're going into this full screen. And then also too, one thing about the color is you see that it's not just a dark RGB color that they're using. They're using an RGBA, so the, la the third number has to do with the opacity of the color. And so if you had a zero in there, um, uh, excuse me, if you had a one in there, then these would be, um, you, could, you wouldn't be able to see through them if you had a one. And so the RGBA, if there's a one in the A, then it is a solid color. So that's like saying turning the light all the way on, right? So we have a one or a zero. Is that, you remember that in colors? So when we were learning about um, the binary numbers, like when we had just a single number for it, so turning it on all the way is a one, turning it off would be zero. So if you didn't want to see it at all. So somewhere between there, we want to turn it off a little bit in the opacity. Um, so you can put in like, I think the default number that they give you is five, or excuse me, 0.5. Um, and you can try that. I think, you know, so somewhere between 0.5 and, you know, 0.2 is kind of, and you can even do a random if you want to um, in that number. So you could do a random on that last number and see that see, see if um, some of them might come up like solid and some of them not. Anyway, the background color is also changing. So you'll see that um, they're in the same place, right? So there's not like a random all button, which would kind of be cool to have. So do random all like when we do the re when we do this, it does a random all, right? It does everything random. Um, and so that's one thing when you start up, it'd be kind of cool to have a third button that does a random all. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at where we are right now. So when we start ours, I know sometimes like you were saying, it's hard to get started if you don't like know what you're doing. And it's always hard to start anything if, if you don't know where to start. And I think it's, if you just start just saying, oh, I need to do this or I need to do that, um, it can get really confusing. So like I had you do is I had you put in um, the comments. And if you notice, we did like one or two of these comments and then I said, wait, we need to put something up here again. So we started out writing out the comments and we said, oh, we know that we need to do the on events or we need to, we need to make variables maybe. <laughs> and then we need to do some on events and we need to um, create the function. And then we said, wait, we have to, each on event is called in there, fun it calls the function. And then wait, we need to actually make sure that um, when the game starts, it calls all the functions, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so um, it's always good to do the comments and then, um, then you kind of know where to put things, right? So this is what we call pseudocode. And um, so pseudocode is really nice to have in here and putting these comments in here, having your pseudocode right in your code is so nice to have because then you also are ready for your comments and then you can adjust these later to be your comments in your code. So um, are we good so far? Yeah. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do now, um, I always, don't I don't just go straight for like putting in the on events like I don't go to the on events and say I'm gonna put in the on event I don't even know where they're at because I haven't there you go I don't just put the on events in here I go and I use the design view and I click on like shapes and I go to the on events for shapes and I insert and show code so the reason I do that is because it gives me this console message that I can like 
it, it, it builds it for me first off. So I know that there's no mistakes. I haven't done the wrong thing. Right. And I can go ahead and put that like in my on event right there. And then plus two, I can check to make sure that it works. And if I need to, I can change this console to be something else. Right. Um, but this is what I always do. And if I, if it's too Cody, then I can remove that console let, later. But it, to me, it was like so quick and easy. So I go back to design view and I choose the location button and I do the same thing and I just move it where I want it to go. Um, and also to this, I guess this, this comment should be up here. So it's calling all the, um, and then I go to design view and I do the last one, make sure it's color. And then I insert and show. And so there I have, oops, ah. And so then I have all three of my um, my on events. So um, to me, that is like so that's better, right? Then so I have these. So if I wanted to also run these two, if I run this and then I just click on these, it shows me in the in down here that I clicked on it, right? So it says I make sure that these are working, right? Um, and I, and whenever I do code, I always, I stop like as I go to make sure that things work. So um, what we need to do now is we need to create our functions because in reality, um, the only thing that these buttons need to do is call their functions. So um, this is really, really quick and easy. Um, where's our function button? So um, in our function button, we are going to um, create three functions and we're going to call each three functions. So, um, function for shapes. In this one, we're going to create a function for um, location.